Okay, here you see I have uh, I've just installed um, I downloaded and installed the um, Windows 8 Pro and uh, uh, I went to the um, Microsoft website said I can get download for $39.99 and when I was installing through the uh, assistant uh, the promo code came up and I went online and said oh let's see if I can find something about this and I found something about it easy to find that you can buy for um, basically $15 um, so I went ahead and got it downloaded and I'm using um, a VMware player to install a virtual machine and I must have spent eight hours the other day trying to figure out how to get the stupid updates installed and I found out there are a bunch of problems online uh, throughout the Microsoft community forums and random forums people having problems with certain updates uh, like uh, let's see go here um, let's open this up a bit uh, let's see which one was it it was like a 1.9 update remember by size uh, it was this one this one and maybe a couple others that will refuse to install and there were a bunch of uh, suggestions uh, running um, through uh, let's see uh, anything from disabling all non-Microsoft services which I did uh, which were very few since this is just a clean install just the um, uh, basically the VMware uh, services and uh, I disabled anything having to do with that in uh, uh, let's see should we go here go to uh, actually don't need to go there let's, let's do this different ways you can get to the uh, run command from here if you want if you want just a basic run command you go uh, Windows key and then R type msconfig if you need to do administrator um, access uh, command prompt uh, you can go to a different way over on the, over here and make for the uh, little menu to come up which I don't like this as much I hope and I have to try to find out how to do if there's still that registry hack that can work to go a little more classic windows and then you would go to start you can also just type at the start screen and it'll do a search there you can right click the command prompt and then run as administrator there alright so we run, run up uh, we have msconfig and then they would tell you to go to um, services hide all microsoft services and then uncheck anything here and then you go to startup open the task manager and as you can see, I only have the VMware stuff here, so I mean that didn't make any difference. I I s disabled all that, and I tried uh, something I can't remember. It was uh, late last night. Something start with an S. S U R T is remember the acronyms on these things. Um, running a thing from the command prompt is what I did. Uh, and I just copying and pasting these commands they said on the Microsoft website. That didn't work. Uh, there were um, some other things like um, system restore or a clean ref refresh but what's the point of that when you just installed it uh, and a lot of people are having problems with this uh, so it's obviously a, a Microsoft issue um, let's see I'll go ahead and just uh, uncheck all these and we'll just try the one that was uh, having problems among the other ones so we'll just try to install the tiny one here, 1.9 megabytes. And uh, this is a completely new install. I just deleted the the, uh, the virtual machine. So now I'll just try over to, over again, see what happens. And these uh, posts I've been finding were at least since November last year maybe a little bit earlier so uh, there's a bunch of them I assume they know by now they're having an issue even running the uh, Windows update uh, say it runs into a problem it's always the same thing um, and 
if you say get help with the error, if you run the Windows Update Troubleshooter, it says it fixes an error, and it actually doesn't, because you can't install. See here, troubleshoot problems. And open this troubleshooter. And tr troubleshoot using the administrator. Some people said that they got it fixed by uh, some kind of program that they disabled or a service that they disabled that was like an NL or something an LTD I'm thinking it's probably I think they said some kind of program they installed but this is a fresh, fresh install like other people have said it's a fresh install so it's uh, it has to be a Microsoft issue now see it says it's fixed and if you explore additional options see all you have is the go to the website communities and uh, recovery I just installed this thing there's absolutely no reason for me to do a recovery and uh, I've read a one forum thread that said someone was staying on the phone for an hour on hold or something for customer support or something um, so uh, let's see I think I might have missed something here Try one more time. Go back here. Let's see. Let's see what advanced shows. Yeah, apply repairs. That's all it did. Run as administrator. And I remember one of the uh, forum threads. One of the community people on there, Microsoft community. They said. You know, disable this, disable that, this this service. But I said, well, wait a minute. The troubleshooter does that. You could see it. It says disabling this, disabling that. So they're no help. And I'm surprised they keep answering the same way. Then when all you need to do is look within your own forum community thread that these people are having the same issues. There's there's nothing that's going you're going to tell people that's going to make uh, the problem go away with uh, dozens upon dozens of other people have been told the same thing and it's not helping so Microsoft get your act together get this thing fixed you cannot install uh, I'd say up to maybe five of these uh, updates I went ahead and tried uh, installing at first I did the normal thing of in trying to install them all at once and then I just tried to install maybe two or three at a time until it stopped uh, installing Okay, so I tried to install updates, but one or more wasn't installed. Yes, I tried installing manually. I did download uh, the manual install for this particular uh, update, and it did the same thing. Uh, it says it failed to install. What happens if you, if you try to install some of these is that it'll install, and then you'll say it'll say you'll need to refresh or not refresh, restart, and then. Uh, while you're sitting back watching the please do not turn off your computer and all that and applying updates it'll get up to maybe 67 percent or 98 percent and then suddenly say updates you know failed and uh, reverting to uh, reverting the changes and then it'll just restart again okay so I did do ma a manual update for that one and that didn't work did you accept the Microsoft license terms install the update again review I have not even seen that I have not even applied the uh, key yet because this is just a virtual machine and you should not even have to accept license terms in order to install the updates you want to make sure your computer is secure with all the security updates and that it installs properly before applying the key because if you then if you apply the key and then it, it goes through their system you won't be able to be able to install it again without another phone call to Microsoft is there enough free space on your PC well uh, obviously I, this is a fresh install I have I put like 50 was it 50 gigabytes of free space 
even though I'm not going to be installing really that much on here. Let's go computer, right click, and open. And you can see uh, we've got 37.2 gigabytes free. Okay, so uh, what else was there? Did you cancel the installation process, process or disconnect from the internet? No, I didn't. Were you installing a driver update? No, I wasn't. I was installing all of these all of these important updates, security updates, and updates for the system that sometimes some, one of these has said they even in, uh, were deep into the core of the operating system. And uh, let's see what else was there. Doesn't look like anything else. Uh, someone said they were like hiding uh, an update or something. I don't know why that would, would do anything. I think they were saying that they were on a computer that was uh, had stuff already installed on it. Okay, well none of these actually uh, apply. Okay, so hey, well we can always also try that uh, hiding the update and then and then restoring it. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so that is the wrong one, I think. Let's see. Let's go by size. Now they now it disappeared. There were two 1.9s, and it was uh, a different number there. Okay, that's confusing. I think I was remembering that the other day when I was installing these, uh, there was a. Uh, a mysterious reappearance of some updates after it said they were gone and then I was just going down to maybe three and then suddenly there were five and then I was going back up again. Uh, so let's try installing that one, that one other 1 1.9, see what happens. At least I only paid fifteen dollars for this right now. And of course they will, you know they will fix this, but it is annoying. Now we have to restart. Okay, so that was just that one tiny 1.9 megabyte. We we'll restart the uh, virtual machine operating system. I don't think it's showing on the recording uh, that it's actually it's pretty it looks like it's paused it's frozen it says restarting on the recording but now it's showing the black screen with the blue windows logo and then another black screen black screen here. Let me release my mouse from the virtual machine and uh, put it back in there and see what happens. There we go. I can see my mouse. Well, just stand here and wait a moment. There we go. Coming back up. Please wait. Okay, so uh, looks like that one went through. Let's try. Oops, try the uh, another one. I'd like to know what happened to one that failed. 
It seems to have disappeared, and I did not hide it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and try, let's see, uncheck all these and just do the um, non-security updates. Something having to do with the operating system core, whatever. Here's a security update, a removal tool, flash player. and install that. This might take a little bit of time. Uh, I'll go I probably have to should probably uh, pause the recording and then come back when it's done. Now I'll just go ahead and splice these together. Okay, so I will uh, go ahead and pause this, and uh, for the uh, YouTube uh, audience, you'll be able to see uh, what comes up out of how this. Um, it'll probably wind up having to restart. Uh, at least one of these updates will have a restart required.